Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. We are back with another edition of Quick Hits. Uh, it's the first of two episodes. We're going to be back later today in just a little while with a second episode, but we need to get into the first one, which is a, a response to the uh, brutal knockout, the devastating performance by Dillian White, stopping Alexander Povetkin, getting his revenge in four rounds. Uh, one side to beat down, really good fight by Dillian White to get himself back in a world title picture, which, um, you know, he should have had a world title shot by now anyway. Uh, now he makes himself relevant again and gets himself back in that picture. But before we get into the fight anymore, please like and subscribe. Share on all forms of social media. Uh, follow us at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Uh, please share on all forms. Share with a friend. Like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon. Hit smash the thumbs up. All that good stuff. Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. Every day. 8 to 10 minutes a day. This is the first episode. We'll do another one later. We're going to do it on Matthew uh, Matthew Hatton. Campbell Hatton. Um, we're talking about his performance. Um, and then we'll do a second episode of that. But this one is completely dedicated to the excellent performance by one Mr. Dillian White, uh, who exacts his revenge on Alexander Povetkin, uh, becomes the mandatory challenger for the WBC belt. Again, um, she was a fourth round knockout. He looks really good. Uh, if you go back, um, and I said Povetkin, I like to, I like to see White work the body. He didn't really do that, but I said I'd like to see him get a bit more aggressive, and he did do that. Um, his jab was working perfectly. He was fighting really well. Uh, I think it was the most complete performance of his career. I really do. Um, he boxed well, and then he picked it up when he was supposed to pick it up, and it did what he was supposed to do. I was highly, highly impressed um, with his performance. Um I, I think this goes a long way in our first fight and removing all doubt. Um, and then once he heard him, he took him out, and it was good night. Um, you know that power is always going to be there with Dillian White. He can crack. He's a big, strong dude. And if he can just work behind that jab. You know, I'm not even saying he has to have a Joe Joyce-type jab, but if he can just use this jab and he can follow up with right hands and hooks like he did today, he's going to be a tough out for anyone. This is a guy that's vastly improved from the Joshua fight. I don't know what happened in the Pavekin fight. It seemed like he could have took Pavekin out and he let off the gas. He didn't do that today, and that, and that's why he got him out. If he goes for the finish, he can get you out, and that's exactly what he did. Um, so, hats off, tip the hat to, to Dillian White, who regains his belt, his his whatever strap, ridiculous strap they call it. But more importantly, he gets himself back in a title shot. Now, what comes next? For Dillian White is, is also very interesting. Um, Eddie Hearn wants a Deontay Wilder fight. I think that's a great fight. I think we should do it in the U.S. Pay-per-view. Well, we shouldn't do it on pay-per-view because I hate fights on pay-per-view. But logically, it would go on pay-per-view um, in the U.S. Can you just imagine the promo for that fight with all the one-punch knockouts from those two guys? I think it would sell a ton of... Hit reviews. I think a lot of casuals would buy it. Just the way that you could hype it with these two guys, you know, dynamite exploding, both guys. Both guys don't just score knockouts. They score vicious, brutal, posterizing knockouts. Um, so, I, I really like the fight. And I think either guy could win the fight. I would, I would probably lean towards Wilder. But, because he's longer. Um... But if White does what you say, White used his size, he used his reach, he used his jab really well today. He'd have to get inside on Wilder or out quick him with the jab. You know, he'd either have to win the battle of the jabs, which perhaps he could do, which I think would be his path to victory, or he'd have to get inside on him. That's going to be a little tougher because he's he's a big, 
moose of a man, right? Like he's a giant. I, I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. He's not, you know, he's not unathletic for a guy that size, but he is a guy that size. You know what I'm saying? Um, so his best bet is to, is to try to outquick him on the jab. And, and look, that fight ain't going to distance. I don't care who the judges are. You know, whatever. That fight is not going the distance. Um, someone's getting knocked out. And I, I think it's a great fight. The winner, obviously, is put in line for a world title fight. You know, again, it's going to be tough because Usyk is all a title fight. I don't know what they're going to do with the WBO. I don't know if the winner of Fury Joshua is going to vacate that or what's going to happen there. But Fury, I mean, uh, Usyk's owed that title shot. He should get it. He deserved it. Uh, Joshua knew that he had to fight Usyk for the WBO or vacate. Um so you're going to have that winner. And then on the other side of that, you're going to have uh, the winner of this fight, which would be set up perfectly for the winner. So you're going to have three guys of relevance, right? You're going to have the winner of Fury AJ. You're going to have the winner of Wilder uh, White. And then you're going to have um, Usyk. So you're going to have a three-dog race in the heavyweight division. And, and, and White's, what White's performance say, what White's really good. Like I said, I think the most complete performance of his career, sensational fourth-round knockout over Povetkin, he gets himself back in that position and makes himself really, really relevant. You know, not just a top five or top ten guy, but he gets himself back in a picture where he's back. You know, um, any permutation of, of, of world heavyweight title fights is going to have his name in it. Um, he, he's in a good position right now, as is Usyk. You know, I, I I would love to see him fight Usyk, but why would they do that? Both guys are owed a title shot at this point. You know, why would you put him at risk? Um, but we'll see. It's going to be interesting. You know, the heavyweight division right now is, you know, you got AJ, you got Fury, you got uh, White, Wilder, Usyk. Um, you got guys like Joe Joyce. You're in really, really good position. Uh, I don't remember a time that the heavyweight picture has been this stacked um, in, in a long time. Um, so we're, we're in really good shape. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Um did you like White's performance as much as I do? Do you think he's relevant? Do you think he has a chance against Wilder? Do you think he has a chance against the winner of Fury, AJ? <clears throat> Fury. Because um, he's going to be in He's going to be in the picture. He's, he's, he's going to be in the realm. He's going to be in the conversation of getting those fights. Um, do you think it was his best performance like I do? Do you think it's his most complete performance to date? Because I really do. I, I love the performance. Uh, I think uh, White's going to be a lot to handle. If he can fight this way. Moving forward, he's, he's going to be a lot to handle for anyone um, in the heavyweight division. Uh, please like and subscribe. Share in all forms of social media. Uh, Quick Hits comes at you twice a day. We'll be back later today uh, with an uh, episode of Breaking Down Campbell Hatton. The good, the bad, the ugly of that performance. Uh, so check that out. Uh, that'll be later today. Um, please uh, hit the thumbs up. Uh, like and subscribe. Please comment as well. Um, hit the bell icon, all that good stuff. It is March 27th, 2021. Ivan Calderon is still not in the Boxing Hall of Fame. That needs to change. We need to get Iron Boy in the Boxing Hall of Fame. Um, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.